Okay, so how do you uh, identify if something was oxidized or reduced? Well, now you know how to, you're always going to have to assign oxidation numbers first, so don't forget that's the first step. Um, and then you might need your little memory trick that you get oxidized up, the charge goes up as you lose negative electrons, or reduced down, your charge goes down. All right, so here's our first example, um, and I am going to start it by assigning oxidation numbers. Uh, so when I look at Cu, it's got multiple possible traces, so I'm going to skip it and go to O, and O is negative 2, so Cu must be plus 2. No need to do math down below. H, when I go to look it up, it has a plus 1 or minus 1 charge, and I'm like, oh, but well, it's not with anything. Oh, yeah, when you're alone, you are a 0. Um, it's fine. Copper, same thing. I go to look it up and then I'm like, oh wait, it's alone. It hasn't bond with anyone. It hasn't lost or gained electrons. So it is a zero charge. Can you boys be quiet, please? And then H is almost always plus one, we said. Um, but there's two of them. So that makes plus two. O is minus two, which makes sense so that this one can equal zero. All right. So that was just my math. Um, so now I have assigned oxidation numbers and I am now ready to decide who got oxidized and who got reduced. So let me just look at each thing. Um, if I look at copper, copper went from being plus two to zero. So it looks like copper's charge went down. So the answer is reduced down. Okay, so this is where you need like that memory trick reduced down. All right, so at first I had to assign the oxidation numbers, then I had to look and say, well, what happened to copper? Oh, copper went down in charge, so it must have gotten reduced. So I've now identified copper as the thing that got reduced. All right, next one. Um, if I look at oxygen, I go oxygen went from being negative two to negative two. So what happened to oxygen? Well, nothing. Okay. Not everything get, gets oxidized or reduced. So nothing happened to oxygen. So I'll just move on to hydrogen. Hydrogen was zero. And now it's, uh, let me do this in a different color. Now it is, uh, whatever it is, plus one. So hydrogen went from being zero to plus one. So it looks like its charge went up and we said ox up, you get oxidized. So looks like hydrogen was oxidized. All right, so step one was assign all the oxidation numbers. Step two was look at what happened to those two those things as they went from left to right as the reaction proceeded and decide whether they got reduced down or oxidized up. Okay, now that I've figured that out, I can answer more questions. I can say copper was reduced. I can say what happens to its charge. I can also say whether it lost or gained electrons. So I can either say, well, let's see, if it went from plus two to zero, it must have like gained negative things to go down in charge, so it must have gained electrons. So I can figure it out that way. Or I could say, well, it said it got reduced. Shh, guys, you're supposed to be quiet. Reduction is gain. So it must have gained electrons. So once I figure out that it's reduced, I can then figure out other things, like that it gained electrons um, using other memory tricks or just like work thinking through it. Um, and then I can also say, okay, hydrogen upped its charge, oxidized up from zero to plus one. Um, so it was oxidized and then I can figure out, I can even figure out, did it lose or gain electrons? So I can either go, okay, well, if it went from zero to plus one, it must have like lost something negative to go up and charge. Um, that's kind of hard for me. So now that I know it's oxidized because it's oxidized up, I can just say, oh, oil rig oxidation is lost. So it must have lost electrons. Or I could figure it out one way and use the other way to check myself. Um, so there were a couple of memory tricks you needed here. Um, ox up and reduce down and oil rig. Putting them all together, I can figure out a lot of things, along with assigning oxidation numbers. Okay, um, one thing to note down here is that when you're figuring out who got oxidized or who got reduced, you're only picking from the reactant side because they're the side that something happened to. These are just, the products are just the react, uh, what, ha what they looked like after. So we wanna say who got reduced, who got oxidized. I'm picking between copper two plus 
is, I'm going to say that's what got reduced, and hydrogen with a zero charge, that's what got oxidized. I'm not going to pick copper with a zero charge. That's like what it looked like after. I'm not picking hydrogen with a plus one charge. Um, that's what it looked like after. So let me show you an example of that because that's kind of confusing. Okay, so this one is basically asking like who got oxidized, who got reduced, and it gives you this equation, Na alone, so that's a zero charge, became Na plus one, um, plus the electron that it gave off. You're not used to seeing it written that way. But either way, it went from zero to plus one. So I go, oh, that guy's, that got oxidized up. All right, so now I know that it was oxidized. Um, but then it gives me a choice because um, I'm like, oh, Na's oxidized. But then I see down here, oh, Na's oxidized. So am I picking B or D as my choice? Now, remember I said only the reactants can have something happen to them. Only they can be my answer of what got oxidized or what got reduced. So it is not this Na plus that got oxidized. That's what it was after it got oxidized. It was this Na that got oxidized, not the Na plus. So you can only choose like what's on the reactant side is your answer. So if you've got this, you can just go ahead and do the homework problems, um, but I'm gonna go over them right here um, if you need help. So I'll just start, I'm supposed to assign who got oxidized and who got reduced. So I gotta always start with assigning my oxidation numbers. So I see SR, uh, strontium, and I'm like, okay, let me go look it up. And then I go, wait a minute, strontium, uh, whenever something is alone, see, SR is not bonded to anything. There's just two of them. Um, so that's going to be zero. And that two out in front, um, you are not going to worry about. Um, it's just like two zeros. Like it, it, it would just like double everything. Like this two here would just double everything. So we might as well just ignore it. So I'll just say as a rule, ignore the numbers out in front for assigning charges. Um, oh, no, the arrow went away in this problem. Okay, I'll fix. So this is zero. And then I go O2. Sorry, it's supposed to be O little two like that. Um, I can't figure out how to figure it on, fix it on Google Docs though. Um, so O2, again, even though it's O with another O, it's still, if you're alone, you're a zero. You haven't bonded with anyone. You haven't lost your electrons. All right, then I go over here. Um, strontium is a uh, group two elements, so it must be plus two. Oxygen is minus two, so pretty easy assigning, no having to like skip and go back and figure it out, do math. Um, so now I can just go ahead to the good stuff and figure out who got oxidized, who got reduced, and I'm going to do that by just following one. So strontium, what did you do? You went from being zero, and now you're a plus two. So strontium, it looks like you went up and charged, and our rule about that is ox up. So now I know that strontium is the one that got oxidized. Um, oxygen, what did you do? You were a zero and now you are negative two. So it looks like you got reduced down. Your charge went down. So now I know that, um, oxygen was reduced. Um, so now I've, ox I've identified who got oxidized, who's got reduced. If they even asked me, I could even answer a question like, uh, who lost electrons, who gained electrons. So I could say, okay, rig. Okay, so now that I know oxygen is reduced, I could also say that it gained electrons if I were asked. Um, and oil, oxidation is loss. Uh, now I could say that this one that got oxidized must have lost electrons, all right? Okay, number two is really similar, so I'm just gonna go to number three and I'm always gonna start by assigning charges. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Um, C is alone, so it's a zero. H2SO4, okay, H is a plus one, and there's two of them, so that makes plus two. S has multiple possible charges when I look at it, when I look at its top right corner, so I'm gonna skip it. O is negative two, and there's four of them. Sorry, the four isn't little like it's supposed to be, so that's negative eight. So then I'm like, all right, what must S be? So the whole thing equals zero. Two plus what minus eight equals zero? Well, I want my negatives to add up to my positives, so I want like two and plus two and plus six equal plus eight. So then the minus eight cancels out and equals zero. So now S must be plus six, if I can squeeze that in there. All right, over to here. C, and O, o you're negative two, but there's two of you that makes negative four. So C must be plus four. Um, S, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna skip it. O is negative two, but there's two of them. So that's negative four. 
S must be plus four. H2O, H is plus one. There's two of them. That makes plus two. O is minus two. So that does work out and add up to zero. Okay, I've assigned all their oxidation numbers. Now, and only now, I can decide who got oxidized and who got reduced. So I'll just, I'm just working left to right for all of this stuff. Um, oh, C was in the zero, and now it is, uh, looks like it's plus four. Um, <clears throat> so um, that means, let's see, up, it went up in charge, and my rule is ox up. So it looks like C must have gotten oxidized. Let me try another one. Um, H was plus one. And then over here, it's still plus one. So it looks like nothing really happened to H. So I'm going to look for somebody else. Um, how about uh, S? S was plus six. And now it over here is plus four. Um, so it did go down in charge, even though it's still positive, it still went down. Um, so our, our rule is reduced down. Um, so I guess S is my one that reduced. All right. So by assigning oxidation numbers and then watching how they change from left to right, I figured out that C was oxidized and S was reduced. And then from that, I can also figure out, okay, if you got oxidized oil. Okay. Oxidation is loss. All right. So this one is the one that lost electrons and reduction oil rig reduction is gain. Okay. This one gained electrons. So if they ask me a question about that, I can answer that too. How many electrons did it gain? Well, let's see. It went from being plus six to plus four. It looks like there was a change of two. So once again, assign oxidation numbers, then watch what happened from left to right to figure out if it got oxid up or reduced down.